Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all of the films that I watched during the month of August, so stick around. So today I wanted to take time to go over all of the films that I watched during the month of August. I was able to see a lot. I was able to see at least one movie every single day. I was able to get out to the theater. So today I'm going to go over my Letterboxd account and we'll go over every single title that I watched and I'll give you my thoughts on most of them. Okay, first up I watched Burn. This right here was a recommendation from someone. I picked it up. It is one of those films that's um, like a one location type film. Got some really great characters in it. I really enjoyed the story. It was kind of weird at points, uh, but overall I think it was a really good film. I got I gave this one two and a half stars and a heart, but definitely recommend you check that one out. Next up I went to the theater and I saw Trap. Um, I was a little bit let down with Trap. I gave it one star, no heart. Mostly because I think I had higher expectations for it. Um, but whenever it comes on physical media, I'll give it another go and give it another watch and see if it goes up any higher for me. I did like Josh Hartnett. Um, I think what I didn't like about the film mostly is because so much time was taken up at the concert. And most everything that I wanted, most, most everything that I anticipated was already shown in the trailer, which was a big disappointment. Um, but I definitely will give it another try back when um, when it does get released on physical media. Okay, next up I watched God is a Bullet. Great film. I really enjoyed this one. A really great story. Really dark and gritty. I gave this one three stars and a heart. 100% uh, recommend to check that one out. Next up I watched Atomic Blonde. I've been wanting to see this one and whenever I got the still book, I thought it would be time for me to check it out. Beautiful looking still book, by the way. I um, really enjoy the film. It, um, I gave it three stars and a heart. That's one that I would recommend you check out. I know a lot of people say that they didn't like it, um, but I thought it was very action-packed, a good story, um, and so I would recommend you check that one out. Okay, next up, I watched The Tall Man. This right here was another recommendation. Highly disappointed in that film. I gave it two stars, no heart story to me I was going into this one blindly didn't really know much about it at all other than that Jessica Bill was in it I was expecting a horror film this right here is nowhere even close to being a horror film um, very let down and very disappointed so I do not recommend that one okay next up was the second time watch for me I watched um, Wrath of Man really loved this film um, I had only seen it once last year, and I wanted to check it out again. I gave it three and a half stars and a heart. Really enjoyed the story and the performances and the action. So, highly recommend you check that one out. Okay, next up, I watched Lucy. Um, this right here was another first-time watch for me. I gave that one two stars and a heart. Overall, I thought it was pretty good. Um, it's kind of a strange story. It's one that I'll probably revisit later on. Um, but I do remember enjoying that one. Um, if I remember correctly, some kind of drug gives her a certain percentage of her brain power, and a lot of weird things happen. That's very unbelievable. So it was kind of hard for me to get into, but I did enjoy this. I did enjoy it for the most part. Okay, next up, I watched The Art of Self Defense. This right here was another um, recommendation for me um, to me from someone. I gave it two stars, no heart. Um, it was okay. I didn't really, I don't know, I just really didn't enjoy the story. But I can see that it would probably be something worth checking out. Um, you may like it more than I liked it. And it's one of those that I probably need to check out again. Okay, the next movie that I watched was Cuckoo and the Theater. Um, I did not like it whatsoever. I was expecting more than what I saw and the story was just a mess. I really couldn't figure out what was going on. I gave it one star, no heart, but I'll definitely check it out again once it comes on physical media. Okay, the next film that I watched is Terra Firma. Um, this one I wanted to check out. Didn't really care much for it. It was bizarre. Um, I gave it one star, no heart. I don't know that I want to check it out again. It is set in a pandemic. Um, I didn't really like the actors in this one. I didn't really care for them. Didn't really care for the story. 
So yeah, I do not recommend that one. Next up, I watched Dogman. This one was good. I gave Dogman two stars and a heart. I liked it for what it was. Um, it's an action movie. And I would definitely recommend you check this one out. Okay, next up, I watched All That Money Can Buy. Um, I got this one on the Criterion sale. Really enjoyed the story. I gave this one um, three stars and a heart. I, I've never heard this story told this way. I really enjoyed the performances. It's an older film, black and white, and one that I would highly recommend you check out. So very happy to have that one. Next up, I watched Stop Motion. This right here, I gave two, two and a half stars and a heart. It was a good film. I enjoyed the story. It was very creepy and um, had some horror elements to it, but not much of a horror film, but still enjoyed this one. Okay, next up, I watched The Roaring Twenties. This right here, I gave four stars and a heart. Great film. It was a first time watch. Really enjoyed this one. Um, and I enjoyed the story. Everything about it was really great. I would highly recommend you check that one out. Okay, next up, I watched Anatomy of a Fall. I gave this one three and a half stars and a heart. This story I really enjoyed also. It is one that you have to read subtitles on unless you speak the language. And so that always kind of distracts me a little bit from the what's going on on the screen because I'm focused on looking at the words. Um, but really good story. I thought it was very well done. Great performances. And highly recommend you check that one out. Okay, I watched um, another Criterion release. I watched Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. This right here was a first time watch. I really had high hopes because I really do like a good western. But this one in particular, I didn't like. I gave it one star, no heart. It wasn't for me. I didn't like the performances. I didn't like the story. It's very repetitive, and I would not recommend you check that one out. I know a lot of people love it, but it just not. It was just not for me. Okay, next up, I saw a movie in the theater. I saw Alien Romulus. Really enjoyed that. I gave it three stars and a heart. It was great seeing a decent alien film on screen, on the big screen, because I haven't seen an alien film on the big screen in such a long time. But I really enjoyed the story, the characters. Overall, I really think that it was one of my favorites so far for the year, and I'm definitely looking forward to checking that one out again when it gets a physical media release. Okay, next up, I watched Alien 3. I had never seen Alien 3 before, and I wanted to check this one out. I gave Alien 3 two stars, no heart. It was okay for what it was, but it wasn't one that I want to want to revisit too often. And then next up, I watched Alien Resurrection. This right here is another one that I had never seen before. I gave it two stars and no heart. And it's another one that I didn't really care much for. I did like the fact that the storylines are all meshed from the first through this one. And so, you know, that was good to, to have the backstories um, from the previous Alien films. Um, but that's not one of my favorites. Okay, next up, I watched Emma. This right here was another recommendation. Had never seen this one before. I gave this one two and a half stars and a heart. It's a romance movie, but it's almost like, um, I don't know how to, to explain it, other than the fact that it is, um, an, it, it's a new film based off an old era and um, the way that the people were trying to um, show that they care for each other. I don't know, I just, it was it was kind of weird to get into. Um, but overall, I think the performances were great. And this is one that I would recommend that you check out. Okay, next up, I watched The Bachelor. So I had never seen The Bachelor before, and I wanted to check this one out. I really do like um, Chris O'Donnell and um, Renee Zellweger. But the movie itself, I gave so this is kind of weird. I gave it a one star just because it wasn't the best movie, but I gave it a heart because I enjoyed the story overall, especially the ending of it. Um, but it wasn't my favorite, but still it was worth the watch. So I'm glad I watched it. Okay, next up I watched Founders Day. This right here was another new release that I hadn't checked out yet. And I wanted to check it out. It's a slasher. It's a slasher film. 
overall it was okay i gave it one star no heart because it wasn't the best but thinking back on it it wasn't bad as i thought it was going to be um, but it still wasn't great okay next up i watched in and out this right here is another new release i had never seen it before i gave this one two stars and a heart overall i enjoyed it i thought kevin klein gave a great performance and overall i think it was a good film so that would be one that i would check out again okay next up i watched in the theater blink twice i gave blink twice two and a half stars and a heart overall i enjoyed the story i went in blindly not knowing anything about it so you know the story unfolds without me knowing anything which is great i enjoyed the performances i enjoyed some of the characters I enjoyed um, seeing some prize. I, I enjoyed seeing some people in it that I was surprised to see. And um, that's one that I will definitely check out again on physical media. Okay, next up, I also saw The Crow in the theater. And I was a little bit let down with The Crow. I don't know why. I think in my mind I was trying to compare it to the original. I gave it two and a half stars, no heart. But thinking back on it, I think the reason why is because it was a slow watch, especially the first half. Um, the second half got a lot better, and definitely the third part of it had some great action sequences that I really enjoyed. So I'm definitely going to give it another try and check it out when it gets a physical media release. So after seeing The Crow in the theater, I decided to go ahead and watch the original again. It had been a little while since I'd seen it, so I watched The Crow really enjoyed this film it's nostalgia and it's one that i enjoy i gave it three stars in a heart definitely re i definitely recommend everyone check out the original crow um especially if you've never seen it before um before going in to see this reboot of the crow okay next up i watched open range this right here was a recommendation um this is a western with robert, robert duvall kevin costner and annette benning it's a very slow watch. It does not get too action-packed. It's really, really slow. Beautiful cinematography. I gave it three stars and a heart. It's one that if you love westerns, this is definitely one that you're going to want to check out. Okay, next up, it was a first-time watch. I watched Logan Lucky. I gave this one three stars and a heart. I love this movie. I thought it was great. I enjoyed the family dynamic. I enjoyed the action sequences, the story. If you've never seen Logan Lucky, definitely check that one out. It's worth a watch. Okay, next up, I watched Cold Creek Manor. It had been several years since I had seen this one. I wanted to see something more of a horror-based. And thinking that that's what this was, I forgot that it really isn't. This is more of a thriller. No ghost stories, no horror elements to it, just mostly a thriller in shock value. Um, but I gave it two and a half stars and a heart because I still liked the movie. Um, it just uh, it just wasn't what I remembered it being. But it wasn't terrible. Definitely recommend you check it out. Okay, next up was another recommendation. Rust and Bone. Now, Rust and Bone is one that, of course, I had never seen before. I gave it three stars and a heart. I think it was great as far as the performances. It's another foreign language film that I had to read subtitles during, which always takes me out of the film for some reason. But great story. Great performances, and one that you should check out. I think it's a great love story. Next up, I watched Strange Darling in the theater. So, Strange Darling was one of those that I wasn't really familiar with. Hadn't seen any trailers. Haven't, had, I had not heard anybody talk about it. And then someone recommended that I check it out, so I did. And I absolutely loved the film. I thought it was very well done. It's a different type of story. Great action. Great storyline, great performances. I gave it four stars and a heart. It's one that I look forward to owning in the collection eventually when it comes out. Okay, next up is another one that I've been wanting to watch that I had never gotten around to seeing, and that is Meg 2 The Trench. I was really expecting this one to be terrible based off of all the things I had heard about it from, from, from when it was first released. And actually, I enjoyed Meg 2. I think it, it's a bit of a different story had a lot of storyline to it it had some slow moments but it had some really good action-packed moments which i really enjoyed and as far as the special features definitely check out the special features if you have this one in your collection 
um, because I think I enjoyed the special features afterwards, kind of um, giving me more insight to the film. Okay, next up, I watched Backcountry. Backcountry is one that I hadn't seen in a very long time, and I wanted to see something different. So I checked out Backcountry again. Really great story. Um, I gave it two and a half stars and a heart. Like I said, I've seen it before. It is one of those movies that is a slow burn, but it's got some good characters in it and some great um, action sequences um, toward the end of the film. Um, stuff that would kind of make you, I don't know, I had to kind of cover my eyes a bit because of just um, the what happens in it. And the reason why is because I am one of those that um, I do a lot of walking in the woods, on trails and such. I have come across bears before, um, but when you come across certain bears, there are some really ferocious bears out there, and um, yeah, they can do a lot of damage. So anyways, definitely recommend you check out Backcountry. Okay, and then the last film for the month is Drive. It had been a long time since I had seen this one. I had only seen this one once. I remember really enjoying this one. I gave it three and a half stars and a heart. I really enjoyed this film. It's a little bit of a different story um, and some really great car chases, car driving, great characters, and one that I would highly recommend you check out. So those are all of the films that I watched during the month of August. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you, what you think about the films that I watched. And also, um, give me some recommendations of films that you think I should check out because I really do enjoy your recommendations and I also enjoy reading your comments. But thanks for taking the time to watch this video and we will see you next time.